Hey guys, it's Jenny. So I've decided to do a little something different this year and I'm going to be observing Lent. Now I've never done that before. I never even really knew what Lent was. I just knew it was something that Catholics did. Well, I've been going to this Baptist church with my mom lately and it is something that they observe there. Through doing some research on the internet, I've discovered that it's not just a Catholic thing, that any religion does it. It's just a choice of really that shirt. So I had to look up what it was. I'll put the link below of where I got the information, but it's from Christianity.about.com and it says it is a Christian season of preparation before Easter. Ash Wednesday marks the first day or the start of the season of Lent, which begins 40 days prior to Easter. Sundays are not included. Lent is a time when many Christians prepare for Easter by observing a period of fasting, repentance, moderation, and spiritual discipline. The purpose is to set aside time for reflection on Jesus Christ, his suffering, his sacrifice, his life, death, burial, and resurrection. So, what the pastor was explaining when we went to the Ash Wednesday service, whatever you choose to give up for the 40 days needs to be something that you do a lot of so that when you give it up, when you fast of that, you can reflect on Jesus Christ. Now, you're going to laugh at me when I tell you what I decided to give up because it's not a very traditional thing. I'm sure that some people have given it up before. I'm, I'm almost positive I'm not the very first one to do it. But I've decided to give up Coke. And not just Coke, but all soda in general. Now, don't laugh at me or think that that's a stupid thing to give up. I am very much addicted to soda. I wake up and drink it, and I drink it all day long until I go to bed. And I will, if we are out of soda here at the house, I will get dressed to go buy some. And while we're out, I will go through a drive through just so I can get a soda. And it's Friday now, so it's only been a couple of days, and I have not had soda since we got home from the Ash Wednesday service. I, had, I did have soda with dinner. I think I was supposed to stop. I don't know technically what time I was supposed to stop, but... Wednesday was the very last time that I had it and I thought it was going to be a lot harder because I am so addicted to it but it's really been very easy because all I do and there's even some cold stuff in the fridge and I could easily go get, go get myself a glass but I just tell myself this is this is my sacrifice this is nothing compared to the sacrifice that Jesus did for us and for our sins so every time I want to sip I just remind myself you're sacrificing just like he did, although his was a much on a much larger scale. This is my sacrifice, and this is when I need to reflect on Jesus and what he did for us and for our sins and the way that he died and how he was resurrected. So I hope that this little video for you was... You no, know, I, I didn't intend for it to be humorous in any way, and I hope that you guys were able to sense my seriousness in it because Lent is a very serious season. It's a very serious time of year and I have a hard time committing to things. So I fully intend to commit to this. I will not have any soda until Easter and maybe I'll just give it up completely. But I will follow up with you guys and give you updates and let you know how I'm doing. So leave a comment below. Tell me some of the things you know that maybe aren't very traditional to other people but things that you were able to give up in the past or what you're giving up right now for Lent. Give this video a thumbs up if you fully support my intentions on giving up soda for this season. And be sure to subscribe and get all the updates and see how I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you back again and be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Give me all the support because I'm going to need it. I'll talk to you soon guys. Bye.